Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this accounting series part 2 video, I'll teach you how to prepare accounts payable ledger. In the previous video, we had learned how to create a petty cash register. Now in this one, we will learn how to create an accounts payable ledger. Now accounts payable ledger is a statement containing the list of all the vendors and their invoices and the amount due to those vendors and the details of the payments we have done to them. All right. So this will tell you as of today, total amount that your company owes to all the vendors and the amount it owes to a specific vendor per invoice. All right. Now, if this invoice, if this vendor has given one invoice, for $25,000, then the amount balance for this vendor for this invoice is $24,000 because we have paid $500 here and $500 here. So this is a ledger wherein you can have part payments also for vendors. And in case this vendor sends another invoice, all right, say, uh, let's say today again, it says and sends another invoice, invoice number 789. And the vendor name is ABC, same vendor. And the invoice amount is 50,000. And then the due date, can we say this date plus is equal to this date plus say 50 days credit. So 10th August. So balance amount is showing us 50,000 for this invoice. Now, if I make say a payment today only for, let me change the format so that it looks nice. I make a payment for say 10,000. See, then the balance for this vendor for this invoice is 40,000 balance due. And the overall balance is $1,28,200 for the total vendors of our company. So how do we create it? I'll tell you in this sheet. Okay, let me explain. So herein we'll mention the business name and then the company's name that is our company's name and the name of this ledger is accounts payable ledger over here we will have the today's date which will be shown over here automatically i've used a formula i'll tell you all this how to do this then total due as of today which says the total due of the company is this much then here we will enter the dates of each invoice and the invoice number and the vendor's name if a vendor sends you two times, three times, then every time that vendor's name will be mentioned over here. Then the amount of the invoice will be mentioned over here and the due date. To You can either enter the due date directly or if you have a line of credit like somebody gives you 50 days of advance. In this case, how I did it is equal to date of invoice plus 50. So the due date will be 10th August. Here we will have the balance amount which we will calculate after we have understood this section. So if you are making part payments or a single payment, totally up to you, this sheet can help you. Over here, we will mention the amount of first payment and the date of that payment and then the date of the second payment and the amount of that payment and so on and so forth. If you want to extend it, you can extend it here also for payment three, four, five. All right. Then over here, what I have done is I have got the difference of the amount of the invoice minus the total amount paid. I'll show you how. And then over here, I show the total due. Now, I have simply written business name over here. All right. And I have merged and centered these cells. Then I have mentioned my company's name over here and merged and centered these cells from here. Then I have written accounts payable ledger, today's date. By the way, if you want to download this template, you can go to myelesson.org. And on this site, when you go, here is my site. You can see a lot of videos, all right. And in the downloads file section, you will be able to find a lot of files to download, all right. We also sell our courses which you can buy from our site or you can call our telephone number mentioned on the website to buy our complete Excel courses.
Now over here I have mentioned today's date and then I have used a formula is equal to today. So automatically, sorry, is equal to today bracket open bracket close. So automatically whenever you open the file, the date will be changed to current dates. Then over here I have mentioned total due as of today and here I will do some calculation. Now over here I will mention a date say 15 Jan and the invoice number is 123, vendor number is ABC, vendor name is ABC, invoice amount is 50,000. Alright, over here what I did was I went to this section and gave it a format. Alright, a dollar format if I want to give a currency format of a different country then I can do that also I can make it say euros and then the due date you can either type it in or if you have a credit system wherein the due date will be 30 days after the date of invoice so I'll do is equal to this date plus 30 so it will be due on 14 February now we can make the payments entry over here say for example on 18 Jan I make a payment of 500 dollars so let's make this also dollars so that everything is okay all right and then on 25th Jan I make another payment of say eight thousand dollars and then on 2nd February I make another payment of the final payment or say another payment or let's assume that so these are the two payments that I made so now the balance due should be is equal to this amount which is the total amount of the invoice minus sum of this cell which is payment one and this cell comma and this cell and close the bracket so the amount due for this invoice is $41,500. Now we can copy this formula, all right, and control C, select the bottom area, do a right click, go to paste special and formulas only. So the formula is copied. As soon as you keep on making entries, this will be showing over here. So let's make another entry. See, another invoice from Apple. And this is for $25,000. The due date is 50 days from now. Plus 50. All right. And today only I make one payment to this person. All right. And I'm copying the format from here. I make a payment for $15,000. All right. That's it. Now it says automatically that $10,000 is due. Correct. Now over here, the total amount due for the company for my elesson.org should be is equal to sum and the total of this column. So overall, the company my elesson.org owes $51,500. Isn't this cool? Simple. For another invoice from ABC Computers, you can add it over here. And then you will see the total amount increasing or decreasing according to the payments you have made. Isn't this simple? So this is how we make a accounts payable ledger. Well, I hope you like this video. If you do, please click on the thumbs up sign and do share it with your friends so that it can help others. And please subscribe to the channel so that whenever there is a new video out, you will come to know and I'll also feel happy that you have subscribed to me. Well, until the next video now, this is your Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.